The Start menu is incredibly important to learn how to use. The Start menu is located in the lower left-hand corner of your screen. The reason you need to understand the Start menu is twofold. First, the Start menu contains everything on your computer. So if you understand how to use the Start menu, you can find anything you need to. The second reason why the Start menu is so important to understand is the Start menu is a menu system and the computer is full of menu systems. If you're going to use a computer, you have to know how to use a menu system. And what's great about learning the Start menu is if you understand how to use the Start menu, you can use any menu system on the computer. So as you can see, it's really important to understand how to use the Start menu. The first thing that you need to do to use the Start menu is take your mouse arrow and place the mouse arrow on top of the Start button. Keep in mind the important part of the mouse arrow is the very tip. Where is the mouse arrow pointing? Make sure when you put your mouse arrow on top of the start button that the mouse arrow's point is touching the start button. Once the mouse arrow is on top of the start button, click the left mouse button one time and the start menu will open up. Now once the start menu is opened up, you'll see that the start menu contains all types of different options. You'll see internet and email on the left hand side. On the right hand side of that menu, you will see my documents, my pictures, my computer, and even more. Each one of these different options contains different information on the computer. The way you can select an item on the computer through a menu system is by moving your mouse arrow to that item. So if I move my mouse arrow up to email, email turns blue. When I move the mouse arrow to internet, internet turns blue. I'll move my mouse arrow throughout that menu. And notice, whenever my mouse arrow is on top of an item, that item turns blue. Whenever an item turns blue, that is called a highlight. Whenever an item is highlighted in blue, you know that is what the computer is looking at. Now to select an item on the computer, what you do is move your mouse arrow on top of that item. The item will highlight in blue. And then you'd click your left mouse button one time and that item would be selected. So keep in mind as you're moving through your start menu or any menu system, don't click your left mouse button until you are on the item that you want. If you click your ma left mouse button too many times, you're going to end up selecting an item that you don't really need or you don't really want. So only click when completely necessary. Now you'll notice in these menus that some of the items will contain arrows, like all programs has a green arrow. Whenever a program or an option here has an arrow pointing to the right, you know that that option has more selections underneath it, or what's called as a, what's known as a submenu. So watch when I move my mouse arrow off of all programs, that submenu disappears. When I move my mouse arrow on top of all programs, since all programs has a green arrow, a submenu opens up. Now to move into that submenu and to take a look at these additional topics, I need to move my mouse arrow directly across to the right until I'm into the next menu. You will need to stay within the blue area until you're into the next menu. Once you are in the next menu, you can move up and down throughout that menu. What some people do is they want to move diagonally. And when they move diagonally, they may lose that menu. And we don't want to do that. So always keep in mind when you're moving through your start menu, move only in right angles, directly across. Don't move diagonally. The next thing to keep in mind is notice that my mouse arrow is in the middle of the menu. I'm not all the way on the right hand side or all the way on the left hand side. The reason why we want to be in the middle is it's easier to stay on the menu if you're in the middle. 
It's just like climbing a ladder. When you climb a ladder, you don't want to be all the way in the right-hand side. You don't want to be all the way in the left-hand side. Because if you are on the edges, look at that. We lost our menu. We fell off the menu. And then we have to start over again. So as you're moving through the start menu, make sure you move into the center of the menu before you start moving up and down. Also notice how many little black arrows there are. There are a lot of different sub-menus that appear on the right-hand side of the screen. Startup has a sub-menu. Microsoft Office has a sub-menu. Games. Accessories. So notice anytime there's a black arrow pointing off to the right, there's more information. Once again, if you want to move into another menu, slide directly to the right until you're in the next menu, then move up and down. If you move diagonally, once again, you may lose the menu you're looking for. Once you find the item that you want to open, you will then click the left mouse button. But only click the left mouse button once you're on top of the topic that you want to use. Now the program that we want to open up here in this class is Solitaire. We're going to learn to play the card game Solitaire. Let's open up Solitaire together. Let's move your mouse arrow down to the Start button. Click one time with the left mouse button and the Start menu will open up. Move the mouse arrow up to All Programs. Once All Programs is highlighted, slide into the submenu. Find the option Games. Once Games is highlighted, slide your mouse arrow directly across into the Games menu. Once your mouse arrow is on, on top of the Games menu, slide down to the option Solitaire. And once the option Solitaire is highlighted in blue, click one time with the left mouse button and the Solitaire game will open. Now keep in mind when you're clicking, here's a couple tricks. When you click your left mouse button, always click very gently. You don't need to tap, you don't need to press hard. You need to press very gently. That mouse device is very sensitive. By pressing very gently to click your mouse, you'll have less chance of moving the mouse when you click. Which leads me into the second hint to keep in mind. Whenever you're, you click your mouse, always keep the mouse completely still. Beginning computer users always have trouble by clicking too hard and moving the mouse when they click. And when you move the mouse when you click, the computer will not register that click and it will cause a lot of frustration. So keep the mouse still and click very gently. It's just a light press of the left mouse button. 